Just a warning before we start, microwaves use very high voltages. They also have a capacitor that can stay charged long after the microwave has been turned off and unplugged. And also there is a risk of microwave radiation leakage if it's not reassembled correctly. Always unplug any appliance before you're removing any covers. Don't touch any wires, in this case even after it's been turned off. And don't do any work that you don't have qualifications or experience to do. Hi, Dan here. Got a quick video just about these Panasonic microwaves. Sometimes they have problems with the doors not closing properly. And what you'll find is that it will... This one's actually closing kind of nice now because I have had a quick quick open up to have a look at it. But the door will kind of feel a bit spongy when it's closing and it will shut, but not enough to actually latch properly. And if you have a look where these latches actually work... It's going to focus. There we go. You'll see in here, there's actually a gap between the black plastic, the flat part of the black plastic and the metal, where the latch mechanism has actually moved back a bit. And I'll show you why. So to get this panel off, there's one screw on one side usually. Panasonic micro is all very similar. And then several screws around the back of it. I'm just going to slide this whole panel rearward, which might take two hands. Hang on a second. So the panel just slides rearward. There's grooves around three sides that hold it on. So what actually happens in here is you can see there's this metal plate here that the whole lock mechanism is screwed to if it's many, many um, switches on it. Now as you're pushing this door open and shut it's forcing that way. And because that metal plate is there, it actually ends up flexing sideways. And so it'll slowly bend itself away so that the latch mechanism is not held in place. Now the best fix I've found for this, if you bend it back, it'll work fine for a little while. But because that force from the door is closing, it's pushing, it'll just bend it away again. So the fix I've found is to put a, a rivet in the middle here. If you drill into here through the plastic, and it's a little bit hard to see in there, but there's actually nothing in about the middle through the metal, through the plastic, and do a rivet. That way that rivet is going to take the force which is going this way, um, rather than it being transposed and then twisting on this metal bracket. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole just below that top micro switch. Um, just trying to get a torch in there to show you where I'm aiming for. But basically if I, if I go for about the middle here, then I'm going to be below that micro switch and everything and just into flat plastic. So we're going to go for about there. Okay, right, so I've gone through the metal and the plastic. Now, obviously, as a word of warning, you want to make sure that you know what you're doing here. And that you um, aren't putting metal rivets near any wiring. I think it's a 3.2mm rivet, and I've got a 3mm drill bit. You can just see the bit of the rivet in there. It's clear of all, all switches and wiring. So we've just got a nice rivet there, and this bracket now has got no flex in it whatsoever. So that door shuts, it's positively shutting, and all the micro switches are being activated, so that it's going to be able to start all right. All we've got to do now is put the cover back on, and obviously earth leakage and installation resistance test, and the usual safety tests on that. Um, if you close the door and it feels a bit spongy closing, and it won't start, that's usually with the latch. I'll show you how to fix that. And the other problem that sometimes happens is that this um, mechanism here is spring-loaded. If it's shutting but not actually locking, you'll probably find this may not be spring-loaded anymore. And um, it can be the spring broken or the little um, hooks that are broken. It's pretty straightforward. This inner plastic frame, so if I can get this to focus on her, huh? we have the metal for the door, which goes out to here. We have a plastic frame, then we've got the white plastic. This black plastic one pops off. Um, I'll try and do this one handed. Just prise it off from the inside and then you just work your 
your way along without breaking it. Put it down for this bit. Right. So having got that off, you can see we have this hook here, and we have a spring that connects into a little wee tab on here. Um, and the, either that spring snaps off, or I have had um, the plastic break. So if we lift it up comes off and so um, you can get just this this latch mechanism from Panasonic uh, or what I've done in the past is um, drilled a hole just above where that hook is if that hook snapped off draw a hole there and thread the spring through so that's what you've got to do for that bit there um, or vice versa you could just drill a little hole in here if you wanted to just connect it up again and then haven't got time to wait for a um, for a part to arrive So that's now back on there. Let's just push it back on. 